primary point. And I would like us to consider an equation here. I want us to consider the following. Consider this equation. Consider the curve. This is the equation of the curve. Y is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 3. And we want to see about the stationary point. So when we have this, we have seen that the stationary point is the point where the gradient is zero. So in this case, if we were to come and get the gradient function dy all over dx, we are going to have this as when we differentiate, we have 2 multiplying by the coefficient, which is 1. So we have 2x squared minus 1. Then plus the power here is 1, power times the coefficient. We have 2x raised to power 1 minus 1. Then plus the derivative of a constant, which is 0. So we are going to have dy and dx as 2x plus 2. So that is the gradient function. And therefore, when we equate this to 0, that is at the stationary point. So when we have our dy all over dx, we have it as 2x plus 2. So if we equate this to 0, we find the value of x. Therefore, at the stationary point, that is where the gradient is equal to 0. We are going to have, therefore, 2x plus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, 2x will be equal to 0 minus 2. So 2x will have negative 2. We divide by 2 by 2. Our x will be equal to negative 1. Now, I want us to be keen in this. I want us to get the, to have a table here whereby we have some values of x we can get values on both negative and the positive side of this curve that we have here and C. So here we have the values of x on the negative and both the positive. And then here we want to get the gradient, the gradient at x, at that point x. So we can have some points like from negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, we have 0. 1, 2, 3. We can get up to 3. So we want to get the gradient at x. And our gradient function, our gradient function dy all over dx is equal to 2x plus 2. So we can get the gradient when the value of x is negative 4. So this one will be negative 4 times 2. That is negative 8 plus 2. We have negative 6. In the other one, we have negative 3 times 2, negative 6, plus 2, we have negative 4. Negative 2 times 2, we have negative 4, plus 2, we have negative 2. Negative 1, we are going to have negative 2 plus 2, which is 0. When we have 0, we'll have 0, uh, 0 plus 2, that is 2. When we have 1, we have 1 times 2, that is 2, plus 2, we have 4. When we have 2, this is 4 plus 2, we have 6. And when we have 3, we have 3 times 2, that is 6 plus 2, we have 8. So we can see clearly that at the point where x is equal to negative 1, the gradient is 0. The gradient is 0, we have the negative sign, we have the positive sign. So you can see what is happening to the gradient. We have negative 6, negative, negative, then we have 0, then we have the positive. Now, if we are to plot this curve, I want us to understand clearly what we mean by a stationary point and how this stationary point, what is the nature of the stationary point. We have seen that stationary point is a point where the gradient is equal to zero. So I want us to plot this curve. I want us to plot this curve. That is y is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 3. So we are going to get the values of x and the values of y. We can make it simpler by having it the following. We have the values of x. We have x squared. We have 2x. 
and we have plus 3. So in every part we add 3 and then we get the values of y. So we can start with maybe negative 3, negative 2, we have negative 1, 0, 1, we can have up to 2. So we want to get the values, corresponding values of y so that we can plot the curve. So here x squared, it is negative 3 squared, that is 9, negative 2 squared, negative 1 squared, 0 squared, 1 squared, and 2 squared. Then here we have 2x, our x is still these ones, so we have 2 times negative 3, 2 times negative 2, that is negative 4, 2 times negative 1, 2 times 0, 2 times 1, we have 2, then 2 times 2, we have 4. Then we have 3, we are adding 3 throughout 3. So our equation, when we want to get the values of y, we take x squared plus plus 3. So we have 9 plus negative 6, that is 3 plus 3, we have 6. Then we have 4 plus minus 4, that is 0 plus 3, 3. Here we have 1, then plus minus 2. It's the same as 1 minus 2, that is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 3, we have 2. Here we have 0. And then we have uh, 0 plus 0 plus 3, we have 3. Then here, uh, here we have 1 plus 2, that is 3. 3 plus 3, we have 6. And then here we have 4 plus 4, 8 plus 3 we have 11. Then I want us to have that curve so that we can see what is happening and then we are able to determine the nature. We'll be able to get the nature of the stationary point. So we plot that curve, x from negative 3 to 2, Why we have only the positive sign. For x we have both the positive and the negative. So here we'll have our curve. This is our curve. So we have here negative 3 to 2. So we can have 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. So this is what we have. This is our x-axis. We have 0 here. 1, 2, 3. We have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Then on the y-axis we have 6 to 11, so we start from 0 up to 11, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so we can have up to here, 11, so we have, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, up to 11. So we have that. We want to plot the points so that we can obtain the curve. Negative 3, uh, negative 3, 6. So we have negative 3, 6. So we can estimate it to be there. Then we have negative 2, 3, negative 2 and 3. Then we have negative 1, 2, negative 1 and 2 is here. Then we have 0, 3. 0, we move now to 3. Then we have 1, 6. We have 1 and 6 is here. Then we have 2, 11. 2 and 11. So that's the curve that you are going to have. Our 11 is there. So we plot that curve. We have from this point here negative 3, we move on to that, we move to this, then we move to that point, all the way to our last point, and we obtain the curve. So this is the curve that we have. That's the curve, and our curve is the equation of the curve y is equal to x squared plus 2x 
plus 3. So that's what we have. We can see clearly from this table that we have here. The values of x on this sign, on the left hand side of 0 from negative 4, which is on this side, negative 3, negative 2, all these points on this side, we can see the gradient. At the point where x is negative 1, at this point where x is negative 1, we can see clearly that here our gradient is 0. And if we look at this point where x is negative 1, this point is where the curve is turning. And that point, we refer to it as the turning point. It is the turning point. And the gradient at the turning point is equal to 0. So we can see clearly on this side, we have a negative 2. Where we have negative 2, then we move on up to where now negative 1 on the x-axis, we have now the turning point. Then when we move on the other side, from, the, uh, from 1, we have 1, now we have the gradient, that is 4, 6, 8. Now, we can see clearly, therefore, that the gradient on this left side of this turning point, then dy all over the dx, all of it is equal to negative, is equal to negative. Then we have the turning point, which is this. This is our turning point. Turning point, which is now the stationary point. Then the gradient on the other side is all is positive. All these are positive. So on this other side, the dy all over the dx is equal to positive. All the values are positive. Meaning that we have negative on the left side, the left of this point that is negative 1 and on the y we have 2 negative 1 and 2 the left of this point on that left the gradient we can see that the gradient is negative then on the right hand side on the right of this point negative 1 2 on the right of this point we have our gradient the gradient is positive. The gradient is positive. Then we have at this point, at point, at the point negative 1, 2, the gradient, the gradient is 0. Now, in this case, therefore, we have, when we have a point whereby we have negative, this is negative, we have the gradient here, 0, and we have on the other part, positive. Therefore, we say the nature of the stationary point is a minimum. So we have this one. This is the turning point here. We'll have a minimum. So our stationary point is a minimum. So it can clearly be seen. We have negative stationary point positive and therefore our curve will have the turning point and the nature of the turning point the nature of that turning point is a minimum so that is one case <laughs>